This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to add product to a new Shopify store. I've created the store and now we need to add some product, uh, some collections or categories, and uh, some menus that have some of the different categories that we have in the store. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the administrative side of the store and all your controls are on the left hand side. This is where you add products and collections. We're going to start by adding a product. So the first product we're going to go in, I've already put the information together <clears throat> into a Microsoft Word uh, spreadsheet. So let's go add a product. <clears throat> if you don't have any products, you can also go and add a product in the corner here. But since we haven't done any products yet, it's going to lead us right into it. So the product page here is very similar to the <clears throat> collections page and the blog post. All of your controls are the same here. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is put in a title. So I've already put all of this over into a Microsoft Word document and this is going to be my title right here. And uh, I'm just going to copy this into my title page. <clears throat> and paste it right here in title and then I'm going to put my description in which you saw on that Word document here. This is my description. I'm going to copy that in here <clears throat> and go back into that page and paste it. Now I have my title and my description. <clears throat> the type I'm going to make is this is going to be handbag you'll have to create a type it helps you to uh, sort things out and it gives you some examples of different types and the vendor here I'm just going to enter and now that vendor will be available on a drop down so will the type the next time I uh, go in to create an item so every time you add new types they'll be available on a drop down the next time and price on this is 79 <clears throat> And uh, I'm going to charge tax on it and require a shipping address. And I'm going to put a weight in. I think it has a weight. We'll just, I'm not sure exactly what this one is. We'll just put uh, three pounds. And I'm going to want to track inventory on this product. And I'm just going to put in one for right now. I'm not going to allow users to purchase. If you have a product that you make uh, or that you can get anytime you want or you want to take. Um, you know, pre-orders on it, you can allow users to purchase the items even if it's not in stock. And if this has multiple options, like different sizes for instance, you would click this and it's going to give you the uh, opportunity to put those options in at the time. Um, so let's go through and just add an image is the last thing. <clears throat> and you just want to upload your image now we don't have any collections yet but we're going to, next we're going to go in and create a collection so now we've created the item and uh, we can save this product and if we go to view it we'll be able to view it on our site and this is what the item is going to look like on the site and then you can go in and do some social on it. You can plus one this, you can tweet it, and you can pin it, and you can like it on Facebook. So this is what the item will look like in the store. And right now it's going to come up under catalog. It's the only item that we have right now. And then when you click on it, you'll get to that item in the store. So next we want to create a collection and maybe a navigation menu on the top here. Uh, we could put this in a, a woman's category, or we could put it in a category called handbags or accessories. So depending on um, how you want to structure your store. So let's go ahead and create a collection real quick and let's just create a collection called, so if we go underneath products on the site, we'll see that they are, uh, we can add a collection right here and let's create a collection called handbags. And you could put a more detailed description, maybe listing some of the different brands that you carry in handbags in your description. So this is what's going to be a smart collection, and products will automatically go in this collection by what you put here. <coughs> here. So if you had handbag in the title, for instance, uh, it would automatically put it 
into a collection if you chose that uh, as your condition. So you can make it meet some of the conditions or any condition. We're just going to create one condition and it's going to be item type is equal to handbag. And as you can see the item type is already in here from when we added it to the product. And that's all there is to it. Now we're going to save this collection. It's automatically, as you, once we save it, you're going to see it automatically adds this item into this collection. So now we have a collection called handbags, but there's no way of getting to that collection on the site because we haven't created a way in navigation yet. So that's our next step. Uh, we're going to go to navigation um, and we're going to add a new collection. So let's put it in our main menu and uh, we can change this later, but this is just an example of how we want to do this. So in the main menu, we're going to uh, go and we're going to add another link and let's just make a link called handbags <clears throat> and then we could create a link called accessories and we could create a sub menu underneath of this but right now we're just going to put handbags on the title and we're going to connect that this is where it links or connects to a collection which we just created which is called handbags so let's select the collection that we have we only have two collections here's handbags and save and that's all there is to it so if we go back over to our site and we look at the main site now we see that there's a new collection called handbags and if you click on that there's your handbag so we've created a product we've created a collection and we've created a new uh, navigation category on the menu so that's all there is to it it's very simple to work with and everything kind of works the same on the um, collections and the pages all of your um, all of your uh, controls which are here at the top so if we want to change the formatting the font or we want to center this all we'd have to do is highlight it just like you would in Microsoft Word uh, if you wanted to insert an image or a video in here, you just click on these little icons and that gives you the option to download an image into your description, for instance. So that's all there is to it. If you have any other questions, check out Pinehurst websites and there's lots of tutorials on Shopify or you can check me out on YouTube.